Right, ladies and gentlemen, lot 182. Who'll give me 50 pounds? Thank you, sir. 50 pounds. 50 pounds, 60, 65 at the back. In 1969, a small pickled object was auctioned at a Christie's sale. It was commonly believed to have been a part of the great emperor, Napoleon Bonaparte. The Emperor Napoleon was a mighty conqueror at whose name the world grew pale. Captain de Pissoir was one of his finest soldiers, ready to fight to the end. This was to be their final military campaign. For it was at the Battle of Waterloo that the Grand Army was finally defeated and the emperor was captured and exiled to the island of St. Helena, the most remote spot on earth. Life was changed forever for the soldiers of the Grand Army. Captain Le Pissoir had never given up hope that his emperor would one day be restored to France. One evening, he received the long-awaited chance to make this dream come true. He set off immediately on the long and perilous journey to St. Helena. Whilst they were sailing, they had many days and nights to remember the greatest man of action the world had ever seen. It was common knowledge that on St. Helena, the Emperor was busy dictating his memoirs and letters from the island had revealed that he had created a splendid garden in which he was free to reveal his romantic side. They had no doubt that he was keeping himself agile in mind and body for the time when he could be restored to France. After three months at sea, the two men came upon the island of St. Helena. Captain Le Pissoir set off to fetch his emperor. his heart filled with rapture on beholding the exile's house unguarded. But little did he know that a terrible malaise had befallen the emperor. It seemed that the end was near. Long live the emperor! The mighty eagle was vanquished and the curtain closed on the drama of one man's quest for the domination of Europe and beyond. So at 900 pounds, 1,000 pounds, any advance on 1,000? Sailing at 1,000 pounds, going once, going twice, 